Welcome to Arizona. 3.5 million acres of public land, awesome people, awesome culture. And today, Center Force invited us down here through a multi day trip guided by Trent McGee. We're going to be using my wife's gladiator with a trailer. We have my kiddos on board. But unfortunately, I do push my wife a little bit farther than she's comfortable. Good morning. I'm with my friend Trent McGee with Center Force, and he's going to guide us around Arizona. Where are you taking us today? Can you say yet? Uh, yeah, I can say this is an ultimate adventure. So it's, it's yeah. <laughs> keep it short and sweet. We're uh, we're at the banks of the Colorado River, and we are going to make our way to Prescott, Arizona. But we are not going to be taking the most direct route to get there. I love that. The directions we got from Trent put us right on the edge of Grand Canyon National Park at the banks of the Colorado River. Considering that I'm from the Pacific Northwest and we're camping in the middle of winter, I could not have been more thrilled with the weather that we were woke up to. And after a little breakfast and a little driver's meeting, it was time to get on the trail. If you've watched the channel before, you know that I own quite a few off-road rigs. And for this trip, we decided to take my wife's 2021 Jeep Gladiator diesel and a trailer. Being a diesel, it really helps out on fuel, plus gives us the power to turn the 39-inch tall tires and pull this trailer up and down steep grades. While we are down inside the cavern, I ask that you please not touch any of the walls or white formations. The salt, sweat, dirt, and or lotion off of our hands will actually transfer onto the crystals and stain the walls. I know that you are here for the trucks, and I'm definitely going to give you the trucks. But as a dad of two young kids, and as someone who is definitely a closet history buff, I really would include a little bit of information about this stop that we did called the Grand Canyon Caverns. So you guys are currently descending 210 feet, 64 meters, 21 stories below the Earth's surface. The elevator that you are currently standing in opened its doors for the very first time in 1962. It took two years and 90 cases of dynamite to blast out the elevator shaft, an additional year to put in all the electrical, all the weights, chains, and pulleys, so the elevator goes up and down, and so we have power down inside of our cave because we do need to see where we are going today. Now there's going to be a bounce as we do reach the bottom of the elevator shaft that's completely normal but it's it's a little it's a little aggressive so just keep in mind I think that it's really easy to overlook how important these little stops are in life when I was a kid we visited a whole bunch of different caverns across the United States and went to a lot of national parks so to be able to share this with my kids for the first time as a young dad, it was very fun and a little bit nostalgic. The Grand Canyon Caverns are actually pretty cool. They're located on the historic Route 66. So if this is an area that you plan on visiting, I highly recommend stopping in, bringing some kiddos, and having a little bit of fun underground. Where the new flowers grow. You look about 90 feet above your head. You can uh, bolster that and still hold the notch, gold, silver, and diamonds. Can you talk Grand Canyon Caverns were a really fun little pit stop, but now we've got to make up some time. We're going to go to Prescott National Forest, and hopefully we can get to camp before dark.
we had heard that on our way down from Washington, it had rained a little bit in Arizona, and it wasn't long until we found out where all that water went. Marco, how about that AZ mud, dude? <laughs> what the heck? It's crazy. It's crazy. Look at this. <laughs> Mud That's... flinging off our tires. <laughs> Do you see it out your window? That oh my what god! god. <laughs> <laughs> right on the driver's side window. Wow. Do you see all that mud? I think that it goes without saying that I have seen mud before. I live in a state or a part of a state where it rains nine months out of the year, but there's a certain novelty about coming down to Arizona where it's supposed to be dry in the middle of the winter and covering my wife's brand new truck with a thick layer of chunky clay. I'm a big fan of people who are pushing themselves to be really good at something and be a master of something. And my friend Marco is notoriously an amazing cook, especially in the off-road and overland communities. We are big time foodies in my family, so I think that as soon as I met Marco, we just right away connected on this other level where we probably both grew up in kitchens with moms who are very creative and with families that just like to eat well all the time, even when you're camping. I've hung out with Marco quite a few times, but this is actually the first time that we've been able to get on the trail together, and this will be the first time that I've tasted his cooking firsthand. Marco, this looks unbelievable, my friend. I hope, it, I hope it's good, man. I've never had well, Marco's food this morning. I'm going to go deliver it to the person whose opinion matters. There you go. This is your lifestyle. Uber Eats. Uber Eats. Okay. Mm -hmm. Hello, Sam. Hello, Sam. Nope, this is just for Mom. Mom and Dad. Mom Let me dad. climb in here. We're gonna try it together. Me too. I just want to mm. Look how pretty That's good. Are. Look how People ain't lying about Marco's are. cooking. Look how pretty it <laughs> you really wanna you really wanna try a shrimp? Uh, Have a little bite. I just want red. This red. This red one. Ready? Try, right. Just bread. Right. Too spicy? <laughs> Not too spicy, just spicy enough. <laughs> what do you think? It's delicious. It's unbelievable. We are going to clean these kids up and ourselves up and we're gonna go to bed. We will see you tomorrow. Everybody, how did everybody sleep? Whoa! <laughs> Not a bad campsite. Slept pretty well. Right? Perfect. So, yeah. All right. And two so, dogs. So today, uh, more of the same, more dirt. So we are generally going to be heading that way, and then kind of that way. Um, we're going to end up in Baghdad. Uh, Baghdad is a, a is a mining town. It has. Uh, one of the largest copper mines I know in the United States, if not the world, it's, it's one you can see from space. have got a giant day ahead of us if we want to make it all the way to Baghdad. And then from Baghdad, we still have to go out somewhere and find camp. So today we're going to push our rigs, we're going to push the kids a little bit, but as you're going to see, covering this many miles in such a short time span is going to give us a lot to see.
we got our wish, and we... <laughs> Thank you very much. It's, uh, it's difficult navigating a trailer through this, for sure. And this trailer's pretty wide. <laughs> we are hop, skipping, and jumping it over a lot of obstacles. So we got our wish, and we're finally out of the mud. We're in a whole lot of rocks. It is super fun. Rocks are right up my alley. It's just, unfortunately, we're slowing the group down a little bit. Just is what it is. This is what it looks like in reality when you're doing the family long distance trip thing. I don't have it even on video, but there are some reports that there was someone in the area getting their trailer airborne. I was doing what I had to do in order to keep up with the rest of the group, and I know this trailer is built really well and it can handle it. We are only a few hours into the day and one thing that I found remarkable is how much the terrain changed from hour to hour. We went from desert with trees to desert with no trees and now things are starting to look a lot like Moab, Utah. Arizona is full of surprises. lifestyle had a pretty steep learning curve on this trip she is not super comfortable towing a trailer and there were multiple times that in order for me to film and get the shots that I wanted I would hand the keys over to her and she would have to navigate her 137 inch wheelbase around switchbacks with a very expensive very nice trailer that we are borrowing for three weeks you're doing good mm -hmm. you're doing really good I know it's a lot it's a gladiator in a trailer on switchbacks. My favorite thing. And you're killing it. <laughs> you are my best friend, buddy. Keep it going, just nice and slow, baby. You doing good? Just focus on the the left side there, and just stay away from it, and you're gonna be golden all the way down. They're not leaving without us, buddy. I'm just driving a little slower. Uh, but I can't drive fast. I've got a trailer and they don't. Yeah, we probably won't bring a trailer next time. Uh, Alright guys, I just spent some time and just last stop uh, having a look at the map. We've, we've got a lot of ground to cover yet. Uh, so we're probably looking at setting up camp at or maybe even after dark. So let's try and keep the stoppages to a minimum from here on out, if at all possible. Thank you. Dude, you Down. I'm so proud of you. Oh. You did so good. It was a long day, but eventually we were able to make it to camp. And the kids were able to do kids stuff. The dogs were able to do dog stuff. Marco was doing Marco stuff. All was right in the world. You've definitely heard me say it before, but I truly believe that sitting around a fire, eating some food and having some laughs with good company is healing for the soul. Birds outside my window I pray Oh, oh Lord, put a, put a hot song on me. They waking up in the morning. They ain't blue. Still they can sing. Mr. Trent. Thank you for allowing me to bring an automatic on the Center Force Adventure Run. <laughs> Next time I'll bring a manual and we're definitely going to work together on uh, swapping, manual swapping my uh, Land Rover Discovery. So that's Absolutely. something I haven't dropped on the channel yet, but I'm ordering all the parts to do it. I'm going to work with Center Force and Trent and we're going to get 
some uh, some fun content and make a very unique vehicle together. So again, thanks so much. Thank you for coming. Thank you for coming. I mean, you, you did a rad job with that trailer and uh, we went through some technical stuff yesterday. So yeah, that no, was good. Dude, Arizona is awesome. I can't wait to come back and, and explore more of the state. Thank you to Center Force for putting this adventure run together. And thank you so much to Onyx for sponsoring today's video. Trent and I both use Onyx as a very powerful tool to plan the trips that we guide. And I was using Android Auto with Onyx this entire trip to make sure that we stayed exactly where we were supposed to be. If you're considering using Onyx software, make sure you click the link in our description and use coupon code Dirt Lifestyle. We'll see you next time. Ha, 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 ha.